Okay, so what we had is the controller, yellow, yellow, gray, gray. Oops, and I was naming that C1, C2, C3. So in here, if I get close enough, uh, we wired them in here. Sorry, I can't quite read that. Uh, yes, yeah, it does say it there. C3 on the right there, C2 in the middle, C1 on the left, red, black, pink. And it's gone into the grey ones there, and I put a C3, C2, C1. And you can see they're in the order yellow, yellow, C1, C2, C3. So now, what we have theoretically, oh, and then on this side, I've done a similar thing here where I've marked it, oh, sorry, P1, P2, P3. Why P1? Because it's the pump end. So this P1 goes to the P1 as marked on the socket. Can I see that? There, yeah, the one on the left, the two in the middle, three on the right. So, there are six permutations of this. I believe C2 and, by extension, P2 are supposed to be Earth. So I guess it's going to be C1, C2, C3 into P1, P2, P3. And if that don't work, it's going to be C3. C2, C1, I just noticed, I've got to do this, sorry, I should say three. Um, so I believe number two is the earth, but I don't know this. It, it measures the ground, on, so the controller when I ping it measures the ground chassis, yeah? And I think that it needs to be something ground something, but I don't really know. I'm going to play with this, so I've, I've wired them all up like that. I've heat shrunk them, so they should be waterproof, though, or at least it's fairly, fairly damp proof. And worst case, it all blows up. Best case, I get rid of the E11. So I had an E09. I found a partial fix for that, but the real fix is to buy a new pump that you see in there. And I've done a hack to get it working. You see that that dries a bone, that tissue, so nothing's <laughs> leaking. So now it's a case of working out, well, this is the NCT, I think they call it, NTC, the temperature controller, um, and that's stupid design it's got three gray wires and i don't know what's what so that's what i'm doing now now okay let's have a play I just realized i've got a chocolate block and that's the smart way to do it yeah so i will be doing that actually the first idea i had was let's put the black in the second one because i think that's the common i'm doing it black as the middle red as the c1 and pink as the c2 and let's switch it on um, and see whether that gives it the right arsehole or not yeah so we'll switch it on over here Keep away from there. Hopefully the lights don't dim. Oh, something's happened. We got some sort of power. Have we got any lights in here? And it switches on with a number. Okay, so that... That doesn't seem to have totally angered it. I don't know what that means. After a while, you don't use it, you can't remember what it does. Uh, that doesn't need to have totally angered it. So, what I think I'll do is I'll switch the power off. To be fair, to be fair, when I plugged this in before using the wire, um, all three wires in, it just wouldn't power up, you wouldn't get anything. So, I've got some progress. I then ran a small cycle, maybe this 40 degree one. Uh, I've got to half speed that. No, I want something that's really quick, yeah. Like that 35 minutes and at the end of that it said E11 was before it said E9. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to power this off. I'm going to switch it off here. Have a cup of tea whilst I let that um, power down and drain current. And then I think I'm going to introduce the other wires in. One at a time. Uh, I think I'll put them both in. But there was no fire. This is a good thing. So I try this connection and here we've got P3 on the left going to the pink which is C3 controller free we got the two to the two which is the black and then we got the one going to the red which is the controller one so let's power this in and see if it does anything it might go pop oh, there's a noise uh, let's try and power it on there's a number all right what I'm going to do I'll put it on that one I'll shut start. 
I'll shut the door and let's see if we get any annoying noises or anything. It's thinking about it. So what I think happens is it will bring the water in, it will suck the water out first, then it will bring the water in. I put this in plastic to stop any, in case any water leaks out of there. Um, I'll put that under there like so, oh, no I won't actually. <laughs> um, and what happens is it goes through its cycle about 20 odd minutes and then if it's got inconsistency at the temperature stage, but well, we should be able to feel this warm up and it hasn't done this for a while, but if it has an inconsistency because of these free control wires, then it will say E11, okay, which it did before, but I honestly didn't even switch on last time. So now we've got something switching on. Do we have any LED? I've got something down here as well, look. So it's a start, yeah. I'll put it under there just in case anything tries to leak out of there. Uh, okay, give it a go, see if that one works, yeah? I mean, why they don't have a bloody manual or even make a connector that don't break, I don't know. Cup of tea time, I think.